but you will counting of red blood cells using the hemocytometer the hemocytometer check that the counting chamber and cover glass are dry and free from dust if they are not carefully clean adjust the hemocytometer slide and the cover slide under the microscope at 4x objective lens and then at 10x lens First, put the on site with a slide on this stage, elevate the stage up, and center the area containing the counting chamber below the objective lens. Under the microscope 4x, you will see the entire counting area, which consists of large square divided into equal nine squares. At 10x magnification, only one square from the nine squares appear under the field of the microscope. This is the central area of the counting chamber which consists of equal 25 square every one of them is divided into equal uh, 16 square at the corner of the large square there are four squares that used for counting the white plus cells. Every one of them is divided into equal 16 square. Here, appear in front of us the squares that used for counting the white plus cells. Another square used for counting the white plus cells. And this is also used for counting the white plus cells. Under high power magnification, only one square from the 25 square that present at the central area appear under the 40 uh, X magnification. As we mentioned before, each one of the 25 square present at the central area is divided into 16 square. The central area is used for counting the red blood cells. And because the squares are small, the counting is done under high power magnification. But here, in case of red blood cells, only five squares are selected for counting. Four of them are located at the periphery of the central area and one square at the center.
uh, steps for counting the blood cells. First, gentle mixing of the blood sample. Draw the blood sample to mark 0.5 located the outer surface of the red blood cells diluting pipette. Wipe the external surface of the pipette from blood. Then expand the excess blood by stroking the tip of the pipette with the finger. Then the mark of the blood in the pipette becomes equal to mark 0.5. Draw the diluting fluid, which is normal slide 0.9 till the mark 101 located above the pulp. Shake the pipet at least three minutes. Mixing of the diluting fluid with the blood is done only in the bulb. Decant the first three drops from the pipet, which contain all the diluting fluid that located in the stem of the pipette. Touch the tip of the pipette to the space between the counting chamber and the cover glass. Under the microscope at 4x magnification, the red blood cells appear very small and it can't be counted as counting is done at high power magnification. At 10x magnification also it is very difficult to count the red blood cells. The red blood cells is very small and the counting which covers the counting area. At high power magnification the red blood cells here at the central area yet used for counting the ripple cells. So the counting of the ripple cells will be done at the central area that contain the 25 squares and only 5 squares will be selected. This is uh, in front of us, one of the squares that located at the periphery, at the corner of the central area, which is lower left and the lower left side, and another one will be used for counting, which located at the lower right, lower right square, one of the 25 squares at the central area that contained 16 squares. And 
cell the square located in the upper right and the fourth square located at the upper left and then the fifth square located at the center of the central area or you can select any square at the middle so only five squares are counted for red blood cells at high power magnification counting of cells Calculation Total red blood cell count per cubic meter is equal to the sum of the number of the red blood cells in the 5 squares multiplied by 10,000.